call me Mufasa, not Mustafa. Peace, people. Welcome and welcome back to XO Courtney XO, where it's all Courtney and it's all love. So in this video, I am going to be doing my hair because that headband wig was not working through these workouts, okay? So I decided I wanted to do some sort of jumbo knotless shoulder length faux locks. This hairstyle took me about four hours and I used the equal Jamaican twist braiding hair for the wrapping portion and the expression braiding hair for the filler. For this hairstyle, the only thing uh, you would really need would of course be the hair, a crochet needle, some scissors, a lighter, some edge control if you want those laid, and the ability to be patient and part your hair. I had to use two mirrors. There's one in front of me and then there's one behind the door. So between those two mirrors, I laid the foundation and put the braids in my hair. And what I mean by that is my natural hair and braids. And then I attached the expression braiding hair. You don't have to worry about that being neat, of course, because you're gonna be wrapping the Jamaican Swiss braid around it, so no one's even gonna see it. And then towards the end of the hair, you just kind of have to twine it a bit. You can loop it in a knot if you like to, but if you get really thin strands of hair, you can really just continue to twine and wrap and it'll stay long enough for you to just singe the ends with the lighter. And so that's how I did the sealant. Um, also, I think I speak about this at the end, but sometimes people don't always make it to the end of the video. If you don't and you make it to the end of the video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. You are appreciated. But um, yeah, you can use like rose oils to more or less, or any sorts of oils. I chose rose oil, but you want to use some sort of oil to kind of rub on the faux locks and of course your scalp but the reason you use it on the faux locks is just to prevent any sort of lint pickup or the ends being burnt attaching to like clothing garments and things like that also you always want to remember to stretch your hair so that you can um attain a natural look right and stretching the hair you gotta catch it and just go ahead and braid it on. Yeah, so pretty much after you attach the braiding hair to your foundation braids, your braids, you wanna go ahead and grab your crochet needle and then just go ahead and pull the Jamaican Swiss braid hair through. I don't do a loop because I want the knotless look, so I'm just gonna start twisting. I try to make sure to ensure that the ends of the braiding hair and one side of the crochet hair are at the same length so that I can use the remainder of the crochet hair to just cover that length. Also, I really like the Equal Jamaican Twist Braid brand because in all honesty, I've done this hairstyle so many times in different ways, different looks. I finessed it. I love this look. The faux lock look is one of my favorite hairstyles. I will say the Jamaican Twist Braid is the softest hair to work with and with so much twisting it can become very cumbersome so you do want to go for comfort and for me that's with the equal jamaican twist braid i just wanted to say one more thing and that is i also leave a little bit of room or at least i don't braid directly from my scalp i try to give it myself at least almost an inch of space so that this way i can crochet my hair and not create unnecessary tension. An hour my time, a snap your time, you know? Call me Mufasa, not Mustafa. The color is gonna have to grow on me. I kind of wish I would have did the top black and just kept this as the undercolor, or at least really just this top portion here, black. But I like this, this is cute. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I used four packs of hair, and um, I already oiled my hair, my scalp with the rose oil, and I also added that to the ends because it'll help keep um, this hair from attaching to things as well as 
catching lint. I'm gonna turn around. Give you all a look at how the back is looking. I don't know, I think I'm cute, y'all. I think I'm cute. All right, so the hair is done. The, the face is cute. I love this look. Um, like I said before, I kind of wish I would have added some black on the top just to kind of tone it down a bit. But you know, again, call me Mufasa, not Mustafa. All right, y'all, you know the vibes. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Then turn on that button and get notified. All right, y'all, peace.